Hey everybody, Ray Baker here with OSIN Curious, and today we're going to be doing a 10 minute tip on how to trace social media users across multiple platforms. This video is a companion to Laurent Bono's blog on our website, and I will be going over several tools. Some are Linux based, but no worries, we will go through how to install them. And first, we will start with a non Linux tool, which is namecheckup.com. So if we go to namecheckup.com, you can see it's a fairly simple site. Um, the idea behind this website is that you, if you want to create a username, you can go here, you can drop it in and see if it's already taken on any of these sites. So we are going to search for Boris Johnson. And if you hit search, you can see they start to change color. What we're going to focus on is the grayed out ones. That means that they that username is taken on those websites. So the first thing you want to do is verify that they are the actual accounts of the person you're looking for. So here, if we go to the Twitter page, we can see the check mark. And we can scroll through and see that that looks like it's actually him. Uh, if we click on Facebook, it also has a check mark and it looks to be a legit page. Um, if we click on Behance, we can see here that the username is Boris Johnson, but the site is not actually his. So you just want to verify um, before you attribute it to anyone. Um, if you have trouble finding someone, uh, you can always try changing their username, try using their real name, or you can go to the actual website. If you're looking for somebody on Instagram, try going to Instagram.com versus looking in here. Um, some of those little tweaks can help you find find what you're looking for better. It's kind of, um, you got to play around sometimes. Okay, so the next tool we're going to go th through is User Recon. You can find this at GitHub.com slash the Linux choice slash User Recon. You can clone it or you can download the zip here. If you don't know how to clone, do check out our uh, 10 minute tip on GitHub at OSINT Curious. You can see this preview of user recon down below. Now I've already cloned it, but I'm going to run through this quickly to show you how you would. So you do a git clone. Next choice. Uh, so you would enter, hit enter, and that would clone it to your system. You would need to find the folder that it's in. So we are going to change the directory to user recon. Now the file you have, you need to make it uh, executable. So you do chmod plus x space user recon dot sh, and that will make it executable. So from there to run it, you do dot slash user recon dot sh, and it'll bring the logo up and it says input username. Now this is where you would input the username that you're looking for. And we're going to do Laron photo, hit enter. It will create a text file of what you are running. Um, so you can see at the top of my um, screen here, it says the file is laronboto.txt. So you could open that at the end and have all your results in there. So it's going to run through here. Um, it runs through about 75 social media platforms. So it covers a lot of the big ones. 
and it'll say found, not found, and it'll give you links when it is found to the site and the uh, username that it's on. So it should just take another second here to run through. Here we go. So it saved it as laronboto.txt. Um, and you should be able to click on any of these to verify all these accounts. Uh, you can search for multiple usernames. So if we run this again, usercon.sh, you could do Laurent Photo space Wonder Smith Ray space Web Reacher, and you could run that. I'm not going to do it to save time, but um, it would again run through all of them and save a text file. So you could do. Uh, a load of usernames that you want to uh, search for all at once and it'll put it in a text file and it's very handy. All right, so the next tool, let's see, we're going to go through is called Sherlock. And we can find it at GitHub github.com slash Sherlock dash project slash Sherlock. So again, you can come here and you can download it or you can clone it. Um, if we scroll down here, you can see preview of Sherlock. Um, you do need to have Python 3 installed and pip or it will not work. There's also some basic instructions on installing it. Uh, I'm going to hop back over to my terminal here. Okay. So let's go to. Now, if we were going to clone this, we would do git clone yes. uh, github.com slash Sherlock project slash Sherlock dot git. So we would run that. And then we would need to change the directory to Sherlock where we downloaded it. And inside of Sherlock, there is another folder, Sherlock. So you want to be inside Sherlock slash Sherlock. It's a little confusing. So then if you have Python 3 installed, you should be able to do Python 3 space Sherlock.py space and then your username. So Laurent Bodo. Now if you wanted to do multiple usernames here, you would just do space Wondersmith Ray uh, space Web Breacher and it'll run all of the usernames right there. So let's do Laurent Bodo. And you hit enter and it starts running through. Uh, Sherlock does about 306 social media platforms. So it does a lot of the big ones, but a lot of the small ones that you wouldn't think of. Uh, so it's pretty handy. It is also uh, updated often by the developers, which is good that they keep updating it. And if you are into um, OPSEC, if that is a concern for you, they do allow requests over a proxy or a list of proxies or over the Tor network. Uh, you can find out more about that on the GitHub page. There is documentation on that. So here we can see found, 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 not found, not found. Um, again, you get links and you can click on these. Let's click on Twitter just to verify. And it opens up, hopefully, yep, Laurent Bodo's site. He's got a check mark. And this is definitely his site, his page. So we would go through and we would verify each one of those. Um, before we confirm that it, it actually belongs to them. Okay, 
So, let's see here. That is all the tools that I have. Um, if you want a little bit more detail, you can come to uh, the Osin Curious website and read Laurent's write up. But that is my 10 minute tip on how to trace social media users across multiple platforms. And as always, stay Osin Curious.